an earthquake cannot be prevented, but we can prepare for it. And we can prepare for reducing the consequence of an earthquake. And I think now, which we see in this project, but also in many projects, it's also used to inform the population, to inform special vulnerable groups on how to behave in case an earthquake strikes. The really important thing is the cooperation between teams from all the countries that participate in this exercise and that we integrate the various levels of civil protection, national one, regional, local one and international one. Us, as the project stakeholders, we, have, we will provide all valuable information, but it's up to, to your country, as in any country, to develop this particular plan. And at the end of the day, this is why we are here, to serve all the citizens of Montenegro through your civil protection authority. The aim of the Balance Project is to improve uh, preparedness and response capabilities in the case of Montenegro, in the case of the large scale of the emergency uh, that Montenegro requires a joint coordination uh, reaction facilitated via Union Civil Protection Mechanism. With the Imbalance project and its full-scale exercise, we are testing our own uh, capabilities to deliver information on disasters, earthquake to the National Operational Communication Center. Particular level of activities are related uh, to building new technical capacities, modes and contents of the information on earthquake impact that we are providing to OCC. Last but not the least, we have strengthened the cooperation and seismic waveform data exchange with National Observatory of Athens as our national node towards European seismological community services, providing better and wider communication and visibility of IHMS seismic service as well. The reason why we, from the Commission and DG ECHO, support and finance these full-scale exercises is because we believe they are a very important tool in improving the preparedness. And this is because they are targeting all the levels from the ground with the teams that we have seen, the municipalities, up to the national level, in this case in Montenegro, and then to the European level with the Emergency Response Coordination Center in Brussels. So the multi-level effect is very important. This is mainly an exercise for Montenegro to test and train their procedures, their structures. But it's also a multi-sector exercise. So we see the relevant sectors that would be involved in a real disaster response is also involved in the exercise. And finally, uh, very important, it is a multinational exercise. So in this case, eight countries working together. And this is important because the Union Civil Protection Mechanism with its 34 members need to train this exercise. We need to train this mechanism. We need to train the coordination from Brussels and the member states. We need to train the teams that will deploy. And we need to train the host country in how to request, receive and integrate this international response. Direktorat za zaštitu i spašavanje koje ja predstavljam je organizator 
ove velike međunarodne vježbe i ona je veoma značajna kako za nas u Crnoj Gori, tako i za sve zemlje učestnike. The Directorate for Rescue and Protection, which I am representing, is the organizer of this large-scale exercise for the earthquake event. And uh, it is very important uh, as for us, so for the other countries who are participating here. There's several phases of the, of the exercise which are important. The first one is, is uh, what we call the host nation support. So it's, it's receiving the teams, is installing the base of operations, is setting as quick as possible things ready so that we can get to work uh, 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 very quickly and, and respond uh, very quickly. Uh, and then there's, there's the response phase, so, so it's, it's putting the teams like we are seeing today uh, working and in practice and this is then a wider, a wider exercise where we need to coordinate with local authorities and, and, and uh, with local responders. As uh, engineers, we have the task to assess the, the buildings uh, post earthquake. We have applied the methodology uh, of Italy that is uh, validated and tested in the several earthquakes that struck in Italy in the last uh, 30 years. In particular, we, as the province of Potenza, we have partner of uh, this project and we are um, in Potenza there, uh, there was a big earthquake uh, in 1908 and so um, the engineers uh, from Potenza are all skilled in this kind uh, of um, uh, assessment. The Protection Directorate of Croatia is one of the partners in this uh, project and uh, in this uh, exercise we participate uh, in uh, supporting the evaluation team, uh, the uh, training team and uh, Montenegrin uh, rescue team and we also participate in the European Union civil protection team. All countries uh, in the uh, Adriatic region have uh, similar problems. Uh, as uh, Montenegro so, uh, in Croatia we have problems uh, with uh, earthquakes and uh, specifically earthquakes in a region with uh, historical inheritance. So this uh, exercise is an uh, excellent example uh, how to work in this kind of environment and uh, to also exchange the experience and uh, new technologies with uh, our neighboring countries. This is our commander, the commander of the provincial policy department, Pasquale Ricciardella, and his task in this exercise to maintain uh, safety and security here in the Bu. Poi l'abbiamo fatto non solo come sicurezza all'interno di questo campo base, ma anche sulle operazioni che si sono svolte nella, nella città di, di Potorri. Uh, our policy department, uh, leaded by the commander, was also engaged in the different uh, injects on the site in the city, also with uh, tasks related to guarantee uh, safety and security, uh, put, for example, some limitation uh, uh, in order to not uh, people, uh, avoid people uh, stay near uh, dangerous places uh, due to uh, the operation. We have uh, brought with us a medical team with an ambulance and two firefighting teams and we are totally 15 persons coming here to give our contribution to the balance project. First of all is the exchange of experience with other experienced team because uh, as you can see there are more experienced teams as Slovenian, Greek, Cyprus teams and that's that's a good help for us and uh, we have to deal uh, with difficult situations in Albania for us it's important to have this exchange we're here uh, participating at the uh, exercise the balance 222 um, so our job here is to search and rescue for victims uh, live and dead mostly uh, live victims as an international team uh, following all the INSERAC guidelines and all the procedures uh, that we use uh, in these situations. 
Uh, we also have uh, plenty of equipment, also two dogs, two canine teams, in order to search the area. We can test ourselves, we can test our equipment, and also we can uh, cooperate with other teams, both from the other countries. Today we had two firefighting uh, situations, one in a school and another one right now cleaning the street here, and another one situation with a medical team in the square, in the, in the square in the old town, when we had a situation with two uh, dead people and a wounded one. Now we're in, a, we're in an old uh, military uh, place, uh, military camp, uh, where we, uh, the scenario of the, uh, of the exercise says that we have multiple victims, both alive and dead. Uh, so we cooperate all teams. We have divided the, the whole area in sectors. We have sectorized it and each team has got a, uh, its own sector to work, uh, cooperating with other teams. So we uh, both search the area with uh, specific procedures and dogs and uh, cameras and everything, drones as well. And it's very interesting because we have plenty of scenarios. about the scenario of exercise is the most realistic, the scenario that we can to expect in, in Montenegro. And uh, also this project is good because they give us the learning opportunity, opportunity that we exchange experience, knowledge, information about the disaster risk reduction. And also it's good platform uh, for improving cooperation cross-border, bilateral and also cooperation at the EU level in the case of disaster. In, in this context we organized the two trainings, one in Podgorica and second in, the, in Tirana, in Albania. I'm one, uh, of the, uh, one part of the team uh, who uh, makes scenario for this exercise uh, together with uh, Ministry of Interior and their teams for, uh, uh, for this uh, type of accidents. Uh, we worked together uh, uh, a long time ago. We start uh, to research the location where, when we ca where we can work uh, in this case. When we speak about the full-scale exercise, it's important to remember it's not just this week of the field exercise. It's a project that goes on for two years and the learning actually takes place from the very beginning in the planning, coming together, comparing our procedures, getting to know each other, uh, conducting seminars and discussion, and maybe the most important phase in fact starts now, after the exercise, to go through the evaluation what did we learn, what is working well and should be kept, and what might need improvement or adjustment. So the exercise is not the objective itself, it's just a tool. I am from uh, Civil Defense of Cyprus. We are a light user team. Uh, we are all volunteers. We are here on uh, 45 people uh, to take partition in the exercise uh, of the balance uh, project. Right now we take, we pull up from a pit hole uh, a victim, a, a live victim with a rope rescue. It's uh, one of the things we do uh, as a light team. Our team is user team for a sea quick accident. Uh, we are working here three days on this training for the sea quick and we make it with our team many, many sites here. 
Uh, our team is the Musa team, we have the dogs. Our team worked today here in the Opatovo and we work with uh, two teams. One team is for the car crash, what is happening in this sea quick and the uh, Yusar team who works in these buildings here. We have uh, 35 uh, members of crew with uh, all technique for search and rescue. We are from the Balkans. There is a, a place to many earthquakes. The cooperation and coordination with each country in the Balkans is very important to, to help each other. That's why this project and this uh, type of exercises is very important for us. Every team is different. Every team has a level of its own. Uh, it, you can't compare teams. We are uh, brothers and sisters in the team. It's not uh, about competition. Even uh, the Red Cross of Montenegro is not a directly partner on this project. Uh, since uh, we are a part of the civil protection system in Montenegro, we are uh, involved in organizing this exercise and supporting our directorate. So uh, when it comes to the, our role, we are dealing with the camp management. Uh, and of course, our teams for first aid and psychological support are on site uh, when needed. This exercise uh, is used uh, for Red Cross of Serbia to try this kind of uh, neighbor help first uh, operation uh, where we can uh, uh, really see how much time do we need to uh, come to uh, Montenegro and uh, to uh, help with our capacities. I am from uh, Red Cross Slovenia and uh, our uh, team is a volunteer. In this area uh, is happening earthquake and uh, we try to help uh, Red Cross of Serbia. Uh, we have here uh, a triage center and we make uh, first aid uh, to injuries uh, in this field. This is the first time that uh, we are in uh, Serbia for this kind of uh, uh, operation or training. So uh, we gather experience from this uh, exercise. We are really thankful uh, to our colleagues and this project is a really uh, big opportunity for all of us to train ourselves and to uh, make better cooperation and coordination among each. It's, it's important to, to, to cooperate and especially to train this cooperation. As you can see today, we have teams from, from Bulgaria, from Cyprus, from Greece, we have from Montenegro, Albania, Italy, uh, Red Cross of Serbia, Montenegro and Slovenia. And it's important because you can see that they can all work together. So the objective is that they, they from a practical point of view, they speak the same language and they know more or less the same, uh, they use the same methods and, and they, they use the same acronyms. So. Uh, it's, uh, it's very important because when a disaster will happen, it's, uh, it's uh, much easier to put teams in place working and, and to, to provide response as quick as possible. And this is a big step if we prepare beforehand and if we work together beforehand. The cooperation and, and the, the, the practice of the European solidarity is built upon what we call the interoperability. So with that we mean being able to work together, being able to complement each other's efforts and also to understand our different ways of working. So this is an important part of the exercise. Not just focusing on the hard skills and the tools and the equipment, but also on the soft skills. How do we make decisions? How do we work together? Establish these networks and even friendships. 
So indeed, it is a big civil protection community, and some would also say it's a big family of friends with a common goal and a common objective. This is a critical part of the overall process, of the success of, the, of the, uh, this particular project. Why is this? Because you cannot really understand how you can improve your capabilities as a civil protection organization if you haven't assessed how you have performed in the field, not only in terms of the search and rescue operations, but in terms of the overall organization, communication, coordination, and all aspects of the exercise, in order to produce what we call the way forward. The way forward will allow the, will allow the local organization, here the Civil Protection Authority of Montenegro, to develop a concrete plan that will include steps which will allow the continuous improvement of the civil protection of Montenegro. I think that uh, the civil protection exercise these days were very successful not because everything was perfect, but because we have a lot of lessons learned uh, to analyze and then distribute to the whole uh, European civil protection community. I will repeat to you what the project officer, uh, Mr. Gir Eliksen, has said many times and we have discussed this. There is not a successful exercise if everything has gone correctly. The successful exercise is the one that identifies areas of improvement. So that's why we're saying here we are not evaluators, we are facilitators of improvement. This is our job. But again, I want to emphasize that this is not something that we will do. We will facilitate it and it's, so, it's, it's the responsibility of each particular state that benefits from uh, the implementation of a project exercise to uh, develop this concrete plan of actions in order to serve its citizens. My impressions are very positive and uh, I'll explain why. Montenegro is a small country uh, with limited resources, but uh, they managed uh, to organize successfully a two years project, a pan-European full-scale exercise. They dare to organize because they care for the citizens and this is their mission, to improve civil protection for the citizens. So I think it's a very positive example from a small country in Western Balkans and uh, the cooperation and the agreements between the neighboring countries and Montenegro is a very positive example for the whole uh, European civil protection community. It is so important because for any country, and we're not talking only about Montenegro, for example, countries like Germany, like France, they have found out during the last years that it's impossible to handle the disaster types uh, on their own and the disaster effects on their own. We have all sorts of disasters nowadays, from mega fires, from earthquakes, floods, tsunamis, that cannot be handled by local authorities on their own. So cooperation is not just a desirable thing, it is a need. In order to prepare this exercise, we organized the tree planning conference. Uh, first was online in the May 2021 and other was in person in, in Podgorica um, in order to discuss about the scenario, location, uh, to prepare mail, meal, exercise manual, to agree about the exercise structure and incoming operational team and I would like to emphasize organization of the study visit. In September 2021, it is the study visit to the pilot area of Oka Kotorska Bay. It, the aim of this um, visit um, was uh, to visit the location, potential location for the exercise. Also, in the territory of the Boca Kotorska Bay, in the three municipality, we were organized educational workshops and also raising awareness campaigns on the seismic risk reduction topic um, to the citizens, to the children and, and the citizens. And of course, uh, uh, 
we organized this exercise full, full scale exercise but prior to this exercise we organized two exercise in the June tabletop exercise in the Kumbor and also prior to the, the, this uh, full uh, scale exercise common pose exercise uh, in on this exercise participants from Montenegro from the partners country um, had the opportunity to testing SOPs procedures host nation supports guidelines also procedures relating to the receiving sending assistance and also to discuss about the involvement of international incoming teams. Da se zahvalim naravno prije svega našim partnerima iz Evropske komisije koji su pokrovitelji ove vježbe. And first of all I would like to thank to the partners from the European Commission under which umbrella is this exercise carried out. A naravno i svima partnerima koji su došli iz međunarodnih timova, našim službama sa lokalnog nivoa i našem nacionalnom timu za zaštitu i spašavanje. Uh, then all the international team that have arrived here, our national teams from the local communities and uh, the teams team from the national level. Na taj način smo proveli još jedno i uvježbali načine postupanja u slučajima razornih zemljotresa. This was a manner once again to test the the mechanism for action in kind of uh, in in the case of uh, disaster.